And as the worship team begins to lead in a song, and as Sister Langan is going to sing a song to every one of us, let us pray with one another. You can pray together as a family. You can pray together as a good friends. You can pray together at the small group. You can pray together if you are the one who work in the same company. And let us break every cherry gold. Let us break every wall that block our way. Let us break every hindrance from stopping us moving into an abundance blessing of the Lord. Let's begin to pray right now and begin to challenge one, once again another right now. And let's begin to say that, Lord, I want to trust you. Lord, I want to trust you. Lord, I want to trust you. Begin to build up our faith right now. As Sister Lang An is going to sing a song for every one of us. Let's prepare our heart also and pray for the time of breakthrough for even our own problems and our situation right now. I want you to pray for one another first. And as you are listening to the song, explain the song also in your language.
it will help us to overcome our desperate, desperate situation. I would like to invite you to come forward if some of you need prayer. So that Pastor Joe, Pastor Chereda, Pastor Lee, and all the pastors will come and pray for you right now. If any, any one of you want the word of prayer right now, it's just like the song said, He's going to help you to overcome our situation. Just like Pastor Joshua just mentioned that one more, one more week will be the night months. And I remember the story of the Apostle Paul and Silas. At that time, uh, they just want to go to do the mission in Asia Minor. It means Turkey today. But the Holy Spirit forbid them to go there. But after that, the Apostle Paul saw another vision, that the, what we call the Macedonian vision. The gates or the door that he wants to go to Asia Minor, it is impossible. Maybe that gate is closed. But God can open another door in Macedonia. That is the way, the place that we call the Philip Church is one of the very strong church for mission. And I remember four months ago. In California, we do still, still do not have the people to pray for the vision of 20. And every church just wants to do their own way. And I remember and I believe that the way that God closed the door for Pastor Paul, Pastor Joshua in, in China, meaning to say to open the door in the US. So Pastor Joe and I said that God already opened the door for Pastor Joshua to come to this place. So this is an opportunity that we can give thanks to the Lord. So let us continue to serve God together with God's servants. Because this is the one who has the vision to save the lost soul. Just like the Apostle Paul who had the vision and then the church of Philippi was established. So that we can, that church can support the word of mission. Because mission is the work of Jesus. And we are the children of God. We want to follow His example. We thank God for a leader who have the vision. Let us continue to support God's servant. And begin to pray for the pastor wife, wife and the children as well in China. Father, we thank you and we pray that you continue to comfort your servant. Give him the strength. Give him, give him the vision and the vision to be accomplished. Father, we are willing to stand together with God, your servant because it is your work. And we are so joyful to partner together in the ministry. May you continue to encourage Pastor Wife and the children in China. Let them see that the success that you are going to prepare for them in this world. It's just the same success that you have done in China. We praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because you know every one of us more than we know each other. Because you are our Father. We thank you, Lord, because you always love us very much, more than we love ourselves. Thank you very much for today, your message sent to us through pastor. Please help us for that we can have enough power and living in your faith and going, doing what you command us. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen.